so guys, I'm finally at Tai Tai after how long of it being closed. And we're gonna see what's going on. All right. Who that be, Mash? <laughs> I can see that you're a perfectionist. Is that so? for you because the people want to know who is the person behind Tai Tai. Who are these people? Jamaica, <laughs> you know see how the place was all about care. People that's in here every day. They want to know how you do it. Love young girl like you, young entrepreneur. Well <laughs> <laughs> I mean first of all right now it's not just me. I have partners now. But um who am I? <laughs> I guess, yeah, as you say, I'm just a young entrepreneur. Can I still say young? I don't know, but yeah. I'm yes, young. yes, you can still say young. <laughs> I'm a young entrepreneur. Um, just, I guess, just a passionate, strong-willed person, determined to get what I want. I don't know, I love ice cream, I love business in general, this is what I've always wanted to do and I'm just doing it, so yeah. <laughs> so how did you come up with the idea for Tai Tai and how do you generate new ideas? Um, there were different phases, I guess, um, coming up with the whole idea for Tai Tai. Um, it started with me just recognizing that I want to eat ice cream every day <laughs> and I couldn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because I mean, consuming this dairy, high sugar thing every day is just not healthy. The, yeah, it's not the smartest thing to do. So, I had set out to just figure that out, find a way to alter it, uh, customize it so that I can have it every day. 
and then one thing led to the other. I, being the business minded person, I realized that if I had this need, others must have this need too. And I did my research, found a process <laughs> that would work <laughs> in Thailand. <laughs> And yeah, just took. So you went to Thailand? No, I oh. was going to, but I used the money to start the business. <laughs> that, that, that's why we way to use the money, so we have to go to Thailand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I will go there, but um, the internet is good enough to right now. <laughs> um, you know, conducting all the research I need. And yeah, I just took the process, the machinery, and made it my own. That's where it came from. So that's where the name came from to Thai Thai. Yeah, Thai Thai. 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 Not short and, and catchy. So, yeah. So when you come up with new flavors and I see you have a bunch of new stuff on the shelf now that weren't there before. Uh, and, and yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, the treats and the sweet stuff and the brunch items, yes, they weren't there before. And I guess I have two a few new flavors as well and uh, those just come naturally to me the idea of she would like that <laughs> yeah based on my taste and what i think others would like and i just try it my whole thing is just do it, it comes to my mind just do it try it and if it works out it works out i hope it will <laughs> if not i've learned my lesson so yeah okay <laughs> <clears throat> How was it trying to set up business during a pandemic? It's your last question. No, <laughs> it's not my last question. I have one, two, three. Uh, um, it was definitely very challenging, um, both business wise and per my personal life, and losing a friend and Love and just a bunch of stuff was challenging, and um, but I did a lot of praying and meditating and just focusing on myself and lots of inner work, and that really helped. And then the support of family and friends really helped as well. And just, just you know, drowning out all negative um, feedback from others and focusing on the positive and. Surrounding myself with positive people and well wishers really helped too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, business wise, just like getting everything done was definitely challenging. You know, the opening hours are hectic. Mm -hmm. You know, places, you can't get places on the phone, you have to go there directly and you don't want to because you know the risks and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But getting people to work as well. I definitely did a lot myself because of that because people were just inconsistent or you can't get anybody to do something. So, um, yeah, there were a bunch of, it wasn't easy, but mm -hmm. it worked yeah. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just had to keep the faith <laughs> and keep it pushing. Yeah, basically. I think um, I can't take the credit for it because I feel like. Because it was just so much prayer and like just letting things flow during the time period, I think God, for real, God really just just put everything in place for me right before me. That's exactly what I asked him for. I asked him to just lay everything before me, give me all the support, the financial support, everything. There were so many doors kept shutting and then new doors reopened. That's basically what happened. I had a previous location before this. It didn't work out. I lost a lot of money. And but it wasn't for me and I thought that was the best location, but it wasn't. You know, so definitely he's definitely working, you know, on for you for me. On your side. Yeah. <laughs> I love that kind of song. What motivates you? That's a hard one, I guess. Um, let me think. <laughs> um, I 
just have an inner drive to just I guess I don't want to regret not um, trying things and trying to achieve certain dreams of mine. So I push to get them and I push to achieve them. Um, I don't know. It's just that inner drive that in me, I don't know what really, you know. Oh, well, I guess I could say <laughs> I am very much a free spirit and I want to live free and happy and just be able to just do what I want to do every day and just get up and go. Mm -hmm. And so, so definitely achieving great things and becoming financially free would allow me to live that life that I want to live, allow, allow me to enjoy the simple things. Do what you life. want to do. Yeah, <laughs> and that definitely motivates me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good motivator. <laughs> I know you're going to love this one. Because uh -uh, I'm not, no. What is your greatest fear and how do you manage fear? Can we just skip this one, please? I, but you know, I feel like the, pe the I want to know. I want to know how you manage it. I need I, I need help managing fear. God no. I could say so much, Anna, but like no, what? Would they are? Would us there listen? Fair. fair. <laughs> fair. <laughs> It's definitely something everybody feels. Um, but when I guess when I feel it, I think that I just feel like it's just something I need to have to overcome. And I'm talking about jump bungee jumping and those things because so, I'm not overcoming those right now. But I mean <laughs> like you know, just well it was since we're talking about business, I guess um I definitely don't let fair hold me back business wise. I I think it's just a challenge and it's just something to understand. It's like an opportunity for you to understand yourself more. Like why are you fearing this thing? And um, I just don't want fear to hold me back because I feel like beyond the fear, there is something greater. It's just it's just a natural instinct of ours to just yeah to so, yeah to just um protect ourselves from possible danger but not all the time there is danger there is something great as well mm -hmm. just waiting for you so i feel like if you don't move past that and overcome it then you'll never be free you'll be held back you know in this one place where sometimes it's comfortable for you and it feels like a safe place even like, you know, whenever I felt like I did my job, like, um, before I, I went to Tai Tai, um, I was just very comfortable and safe and getting a salary and everything, but you just, once you feel like there's just more that you want to achieve and accomplish, that that's just not it for you, you know, you have to push and get it or you just never be free, so, um, I guess that's how I feel out there, but I mean, my greatest fear, though. <laughs> it's very. What you say, like, that you know. <laughs> it's not business wise, you know. I mean, if you say yours, I'll say mine. I guess my greatest fear is losing love and abandonment, I guess. Yeah. It's definitely rough. It's definitely it's like. It's like death, you know, it's very hard. It's very hard. And um, that's my, I definitely felt it already, you know, it's just, it's, it's, I guess it has definitely held me back in that aspect of my life, that personal life, my, my love life, that's held me back because of, when, when, I'm, when I'm thinking that I am overcoming the fear by doing whatever it takes to, maintain a relationship and a love and sacrificing and compromising and forgiving and doing everything, you know? It's it's actually I'm learning now that it's actually not me um overcoming the fear and not me fighting the fear, but it's me avoiding the 
true fair, which is using the way and the yeah. So and I mean that now by avoiding this fair, I have attracted um, someone else or someone <laughs> people <laughs> that I mean with that even greater fair of it. Mm -hmm. So we really have to be careful about what we focus our thoughts on, we we'll focus on the fair, we we'll focus more on the dreams that we really want because that's what we attract to more of. <laughs> I don't know why I said I would say mine. <laughs> mine is pretty close though, pretty, pretty close. Um, it's, it's close to feelings of unfulfillment in personal life, love life, work life, um, I just want to make sure that I reach for everything in every aspect and I feel, I feel fearful of not getting to those places, but mm -hmm. we overcome and we, we move. Yeah, you don't need to be fearful because it's if it's there waiting for you, it will be yours. You just need to do whatever it takes to get there. Yeah, and it's not just physical, it's not just stuff that we have to do right now, like physically, and we don't have to have everything in order. But mm -hmm. sometimes it's the inner work to just prepare yourself for it because when you do get it, are you going to be able to manage it? Right, it? right. Because when you're ready, then you get it. And I heard you saying that you were praying a lot and that mm -hmm. is God give you all of this. and why I really need to sit down and <laughs> God, I really need to. I yeah, really seriously, need to sit down. Like, I mean, I seriously, honestly, like I didn't, I did work, but I, honestly, to get to this point, I don't think I did that much work. Everything just kept falling into place. Like people would be asking, okay, when I thought that when I, I lost the location, I didn't have any location, but. I, I'm telling people, you know, as soon as we open, like, you mm -hmm. know, I go about my business, I jog, and I'm doing my thing, and I just be, you know, you know, just living and enjoying the downtime, like my good vacation, a long vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I couldn't do that without family support and friends too, you know. Um, but yeah, and I just, I thought because everything kept happening, like after, as I said, once that door reopened for me my faith in him got stronger because I was saying, okay, okay, I'm supposed to open tight 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 for me because mm -hmm. if it wasn't, then these things wouldn't be happening. Yeah. And if it doesn't, then it's just not meant for me. I just need to go and do something else. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting. That's basically <laughs> what I mean, you can work it out. Wow. And I don't think this spot was the easiest and the previous spot I had at the location, it wasn't the easiest to get to. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, like back in the day from years ago, these two uh, locations were, would have been on top of my list. Really? My, my actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would, it were the, these were definitely on, up there. Whoa. So it was in my mind that I've, I've envisioned in the past having a visit here, you know, so. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. The power of prayer is hard work. So when so one time to when so when all my friends come about and support me, like I have different friends that have different skills and stuff like that, and they come in and they do different things. You mean come clean the little the, the wall? <laughs> and the paranormal talk, you know. <laughs> um, and then someone like Crystal would would say, "Boy, oh, Kendra, you know you're really lucky, you know, before everybody just come around and support you. I'm like, I'm not even surprised because mm -hmm. this is what God keeps doing. You just, and this is exactly what I ask him for. Put everything in place before me. That I just lay it all before me. I see the road and there are things that I need. I need the money to start this, to, to do all of this. I need the this, I need that. Just put everybody in place and come in. And, and he did that. So I can't. Like, you I, I really have to appreciate you it. Have to be grateful. Yeah, yeah. You see how you ne she never want to do this, you know, and you see how she over here said such a Are we done now? <laughs> no. Let me ask. Um, I'm going to just ask two more questions. Maybe three. Just, 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 just. 
If you had a chance to start your career all over again, what would you do differently? Um, hmm. I guess maybe I would pursue a different degree. Um, just because it would be good to have a different, um, just like a specialization in something else that I could be doing on the side as well. On my own too, like, you know, like some practice or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, I would consider that, but I don't know if I would do anything differently. It's just, like, just exactly what I would want. I guess I would also, continue dancing um, because that was always my passion and stopped for a very long time so uh, yeah i guess i would do more in the dancing world as well and maybe pursue the singing as well <laughs> multi-talented <laughs> but i would it would all lead me back to here also Right, so we're coming down to we're almost finished. <laughs> um, what is your biggest pet peeve? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> people say I'm miserable about everything. So <laughs> really, you? You're lying. You haven't seen that part. No, I never. I've never. <laughs> I know you hold on from a bond. Me, I know you from you. So I will see <laughs> In terms of what? Anything, life, business, anything. I don't know. Like I hate journey lines. <laughs> that is the most uptown thing you have ever seen. <laughs> it's the truth. I hate it. Oh yeah. I hate going tax office. I hate speaking of a job to the tax office. <laughs> And I was trying to find a way to not have to go, so I can't even say anything. Um, yeah, I hate bad customer service. You have a bad customer service. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I really try to get that good at that time because it's not good here, Jamaica. <laughs> I don't know. And there are other little ones that I'd rather not say on this. Little. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. One more. If you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? It's hard because I just love food. I know what mine is. I know what mine is. What's yours? Tell me yours. Curry goat and white rice. Really? Every day. Or KFC. Just one of the two, but. Um, well, I mean, I stopped eating meat. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I don't know, it's been a while in my year, so I can't say any of the meats that I love. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I can sawfish. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same true to your Jamaican culture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, I want to just ask a question. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, I, this literally just came to my head. I never wrote it down. What advice would you give to uh, anybody, not even young people, just anybody trying to um, start something and they're feeling doubtful? And they might give themselves every excuse and every reason in the world why it's not going to work out. What would you say to them to give them that extra push to just? I would say just do it. Just start. <laughs> just, do it. just do it like that. Like, like, no, seriously, <laughs> I've, been, I've, I've been saying that over the world. Like, just do it, just do it. And that's what I tell myself too. Every time I get that feeling doubtful, I'm just like, just do it, Tim. Just, you know, you're not going to, what's going to happen? What's the worst that's going to happen? And especially when you're still young. Why not just do it? Mm -hmm. like, you don't have when you don't have any big responsibilities at this point in time, or when you don't have any kids, and you know, 
things that would be hard or going to make such decisions, this is the best time, the right time for you to do it. So go for it, because if you don't, you're going to spend your life regretting that you didn't. So, yeah. And of course, you know the same thing, just pray about it a lot and focus your mind and you have to think about it all the time, everything you're doing, even if I am watching TV or just relaxing or doing something like that, I'm still doing something that is going to stimulate. I'll still be on my phone or something, looking for different ideas and stuff like that, or just stuff that stimulates my mind and, and inspires me to do other things. And uh, yeah, that way. And then envision it too. That's another big thing. Like, if you want, I've tried and I've done it several times, envision this. That is, like when you envision the store open and everybody coming in and everything is done and it looks exactly what you want and envision it and keep focus on it and that will help you to move towards it. <laughs> Them always say, but I'm hearing it from you now. That's <laughs> it to believe it. Yeah, you just have to go for it. I mean, and what's the worst that can happen? It's best that you try it and it don't work out in university. That's what life is about, I think. Or what else are you doing? Why are you here? What are you Yeah. Thank you for letting me interview you. You're welcome. I really enjoyed it. I love you. <laughs> 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 um, and you guys come check out Tai Tai. All natural. I'm going to say, Kendra make the vanilla extract, like, herself, like, she makes the vanilla extract. Hello, you have to come and try it. Why did I go like this? I shouldn't have returned this thing. I think the two of us were very awkwardly positioned. Yeah, it's a nice angle. Look how much angle we could have taken. I don't understand. <laughs> What a time sure, to realize we could have stayed so. Yeah, I could have been so. <laughs> anyway, I'm on office to this. So.